It's time for another Modder Review. Hello and welcome back to another Aircraft Model Review. My camera just turned off for some reason. Today we are going to be reviewing the Iceland Air uh, 757-200 uh, Aurora livery, uh, 1-200 scale from Harpa Snap Fit. Now, I was not supposed to get this model. Uh, let me just quickly give you a quick story. Uh, on the aircraft model store, where I, which I order these aircrafts from, I was waiting for the uh, Airbus Emirates A380 Expo Blue livery to be in stock from PPC Models. It's still out of stock, so I was surfing through the internet. Okay, before I say that, I ordered this instead because I just couldn't wait and I ordered this model. Uh, it was the same price or cheaper, I don't remember, but it's a Harpa uh, model, so it was worth reviewing because it's a different company than PPC. Uh, but uh, I think two or three days ago, I ordered uh, that A380, but on a different shop and uh, it's supposed to be arriving here in one or two days. I am very happy about that. So yeah, I was not supposed to get this model, it was by accident. Uh, so, but we'll be still be reviewing anyway because I like, I actually like this model and uh, like the livery. Let's get to it. So here's the box. Uh, so it says harp on it and you can actually see the model through the box. It is a, it is a plastic transparent box. So we could see the fuselage here, we could see the wing, uh, and that's the, the right wing and that's the left wing. There's the elevators, the tail, and the stand and all that stuff. Um, so the elevators, I have to say, they are more like on the Premier Planes models where you have to slide them through this bit right here of the fuselage. Um, but we'll see. So let's open it. And uh, I apologize for, uh, see, luckily I have my scissors. Uh, for the last a for the last Airbus um, Aer Lingus review, that was from Skymarks. My review on that was pretty sloppy, so today is gonna be more professional. Can this box open, please? There we go. All right. We're gonna open it this way. So there's the box. We'll leave that aside, and there's. Plastic layer. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's a there's a thingy here. Is that tape, man? That's tape, and we're gonna cut it. There we go. All right. Just a light slice. Oh my God! It's tape on all sides. Give me a second. All right, not all the tapes have come out, but this should open it now. Ooh. All right, and oh, is that supposed to be like that, or is it just like that? Because it does look a little dusty. Yeah, it's not supposed to be like that. So there's just like some white dust on the fuselage. At least it cleans off. Man, I'm really happy that cleans up. All right, that's the fuselage. We just we did have a little um, doubt there. There's the stand, so it does look like a lot like a PPC stand, like on the Quanta 787. That's absolutely fine. There's the left wing, and there is the right wing. All right, and here is the elevator. Like I said, it slides through, and here is the tail. It says Iceland. Oh. It says Iceland Air. That's cool. That's cool. All right. This box is a misery. Out you go. Right. So let's just got a notification on my uh, watch. So let's put this stand together first. I think it's a bit smaller than the PPC stand. I might have to bring it to see. And it doesn't snap like that Qantas stand. So you just have to like push it in. It's fine. It's not much of a problem. All right, on we go with the fuselage. So let's put on the left wing first. So goes in like that. Great. Registration of this aircraft is TF TFFIO IU. I don't say it by the call sign names. 
uh, because I don't think I'm bothered. Uh, and let's put this one in. Oh, nice and easy assembly. This is a nice and easy assembly. Alright, let's put in the elevators. So they go in this way. And you have to line up with the cross. Oh, oh god, I don't want to break it. This might be the first failure. Okay, make sure that's aligned and enough space for the tail to go through. Or will just not be big enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. That was really easy assembly. I have to say, that was one easy assembly. The tail is a little, a little off there. That tail is kind of bothering me because look at that. There's a, you could see that, that light that's going in through the left and right. That's kind of annoying me. Uh, so I'm gonna have to see if I can do anything about that or not. And if, and it's a bad one. It's a bad model. Right, so, and let's put it in its stand. We will jiggle. Shouldn't have done that, and there it is. The Iceland Air 757-200 uh, Aurora Livery 1-200 scale Herpa model. And I like it, I like it. All right, so my overall ratings are seven out of 10. Uh, for this one. So, uh, the unboxing experience was 6 out of 10. Um, the tape and that plastic and the box even was kind of a nightmare. Uh, the, what, the mo the design and the details, um, are... I need to look at it more closely. Yeah, that's a 9 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10. That looks pretty good. The cockpit also looks very good. Looks like a normal 757. Um, the assembly, uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I'll give it a good 9 out of 10. Um, and what else is there? What else is there? Uh, what else is there? I might be forgetting if, uh, if I forgot something that will be on the screen somewhere. Um, but my overall ratings are 7 out of 10. It was, it's a good model. The good model is good, but the box is terrible. Uh, the unboxing is terrible. The assembly is pretty neat. Just that little tail bit is annoying me, see? If you see through my light there, yeah, see this side and this side, you can see light going through it. That means it's not in properly. That looks like it can go in max way. Yeah, I don't know. Right, let's quickly see what it'll look like on my stand shelf thing, where my where my models are. <laughs> and here it is, the Iceland Air 757. You know what though, I really like this livery. The, on the, the Aurora livery, I really like it. So it's standing next to the Aer Lingus over here and the American 777, the 1 to 400 scale, the shite one, has to be pushed back a little bit. At the top one, oh yeah, if you want to see my review on this model, the link will be in the description, and this model, uh, of course, will be also in the description because I reviewed this model too. And the Ryanair, and then the KLM 777. So, yeah, it's starting to look like a looks it, it looks amazing i have to say so thank you guys so much for watching my uh my ice and dare 77 harp uh, model review thing thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe or you have a choice if you want to subscribe or not and uh yeah you can unsubscribe every time you want it's free and you can always change your mind if you want to uh my social media platforms instagram twitter twitch uh, my discord server all that cool stuff will be in the link in the description down below and my friends, Travelino Blog, Bradley Pavian Aviation, Savvy09, Miss Croissant, and many other people are also going to be linked in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!